We begin with the breaking news update. Now a federal judge has granted Brendan Dassey's motion asking to be released from prison. 27 year old Dassey has been behind bars since he was 16 when he confessed to following his uncle Stephen Avery's orders and taking part in the rape and murder of photographer Teresa Halbuck at Avery's home in Manitowoc County back in 2005. Brooke Haves joins us live from Portage this morning at the Columbia Correctional Institution where Brendan Dassey is being held. Good morning, Brooke. After more than 10 years in prison, Brendan Dassey could soon be a free man. We're out here waiting to see if, in fact, he walks out those doors today. Now, a federal judge made the ruling yesterday saying Dassey's confession was coerced in the murder case of Teresa Halbach. Wisconsin Attorney General Brad Schimmel has filed an emergency motion saying Dassey should remain in prison through the appeal process. Meanwhile, Dassey's legal team is focused on getting him home with his family by Thanksgiving. Giving. His attorney, Steve Drizzen, says a probation officer still needs to meet with Dassey and his family and check out his living arrangements before he's released. Dassey's required to provide an address of where he would live to the U.S. Probation Office by noon today at the latest. The focus will be on helping Dassey reintegrate back into society if he's released. As long as he does not violate the conditions, he will remain free until the appeal is decided. If the appeal is granted and the judge's decision reversed, he will go back to prison. If the appeal is denied and the judge's decision is upheld, he will be released. And those requirements Dassey would have to follow if he's released include staying in the eastern part of the state, not breaking any laws, and avoiding any contact with the Halbach family or his uncle, Stephen Avery. He would have to meet with a social worker and a probation officer on a regular basis. Again, Dassey could be released as early as today. We'll be out here all day staying on top of the story, so stay with us for the very latest. Reporting live in Portage this morning, Brooke Haves, NBC 26. Thanks.